Hi, this is Amir Atarha with Cadence. I will be presenting integration of PCI Express VIP in UVM environment. First, let's look at PCI Express VIP highlights and then we'll see typical UVM environment and explore how we can integrate PCI Express VIP agent in to UVM environment. PCI Express VIP has extensively been used in many projects to help customers with a stimulus generation, compliance testing, and a lot more. It has broad support of PCIe specification, including Gen 4. A typical UVM environment has multiple agents to stimulate the design, collect coverage, and perform self-checking using a scoreboard. In this demo, we will show you how to integrate PCI Express VIP as UVM agent in your UVM environment. In multi-layer verification components such as the PCIe VIP, multiple agents are encapsulated under UVM ENV. For instance, for this DUT, which is an endpoint, we will have an active root complex UVM agent, which drives the stimulus, and we will have a passive endpoint, which will monitor the behavior of the design. Now let's go see how this VIP can be integrated in UVM environment. PCIe UVM agent, which is provided with the installation, is an extension of UVM agent and has basic components like monitor, driver, and sequencer. You can use this agent as it is and start your verification. Or you may add some customization like what I've done here added some memories. Let's look at PCIe VIP UVM component that we saw in the presentation. This component contains an active root complex and passive endpoint. We need to set some basic properties of the component and then we need to create the component. This is for active root complex. The same thing needs to happen for the passive endpoint. Before starting integrating this verification component in UVM environment, I would like to discuss configuring verification component. There are two ways to configure a verification IP. One way is a graphical interface called PureView, which allows you to select all the functions and attributes, and also it checks the consistency of all the function or attributes. The second way is in all UVM environment, like is shown here. The CDN PCIe UVM config function is extended from UVM config object and it contains all the properties and attributes of verification. For instance, here I'm simply setting Gen3 to 1 to indicate this is a generation 3, and also I'm setting root complex equal one, indicating this is a root complex. Before simulation gets started, VIP will check the consistency of all these attributes and functions. Now let's go and see how this VIP can be integrated. We are in system verification environment. We instantiate the verification component as shown here. Also, we need a virtual sequencer. We need to create the configure classes for both passive and active. Using the UVM mechanism, we have to set the configuration for verification component and then we will create the verification component and virtual sequencer. Some connection between virtual sequencer and the sequencer of your agents needs to be done, which will happen in connect phase. I have already run the simulation and as you can see, there are some activity on bus and we successfully completed our sequence. This was a brief demo. Please feel free to contact me. I'm Amira Torha. You can reach me at incisive underscore VIP at cadence.com or visit us cadence.com slash VIP. Have a great day.